Hi, John here. Today it's um, Tuesday the 2nd of uh, January 2018 and I just want to um, just let you know where we are <coughs> for this uh, new year with our project uh, with uh, King William IV flag here and authenticating or apostolizing or legalizing all the documents I have here all in pieces. I've just ripped through all the bits, the book, and um, uh, making smaller books uh, to authenticate each set of documents. And then I've got a, a binder here to punch the holes and to put separate the book. I've split it all out in bits down here, just like I um, split out the um, original book. I've got to keep one intact so that I can follow its original form. Here, this one, um, in its full form, but I've been adding pages to it uh, as I go along in the meetings I have. And I have lots of other books here to authenticate at some stage through the years, right back, going back to 2000, the uh, year 2000. So we're at the point in time now that we have to do something with all that history. And uh, today, um, fortunately, I was talking to my son, Richard, and uh, his uh, mother's side of the family's um, uh, Mehinui's, Peter Mehinui, and his mum, Caroline uh, Mehinui, uh, from Poharapa, um, Mangatotari Mountain. That's one of three marais there. I've just got to go back over those. I'm, I'm landed up on there now from doing all the history for Ngāpui, right through the um, Kaipara region, the um, Okianga region and the, the harbour region and also um, Manukau Harbour. Uh, the history is there of, of Manukau, the Te Rau Waikato Wharehere is in Manukau from this Mangatotari mountain. Uh, so I'm just picking out the chiefs of that time from the Kahu Punga Punga tribe uh, uh, around that uh, mountain at the time and that area stretched um, from uh, Rotorua including the uh, Waka uh, um, um, Tikitele Waka of Te Rawaikatoas and the hot pools, that was his swimming pool in that time when he um, uh, commanded all the area of Waikato and down to Taupo and across to Atiamuri and um, um, that was the surrounding parts of Karapiro and uh, Arupuni uh, to Okarari and um, Tapapa Pa in, um, on the way to Hongi's track or right on Hongi's track and then thence towards Hongi's um, um, uh, um, the settlement at uh, Tikitere and the Rotorua area to um, outlying um, uh, areas down to Taupo. Um, so um, I'm putting all that together and we spoke for quite a bit of time, me and Richard, and he knows quite a bit about um, at least um, um, that side of the family. Uh, he's always known of the Mangatotari Mountain and Egmont or Taranaki, Mount Taranaki, he, he knows a fair bit about it, having lived down there and worked in waste management. Uh, at the time I was uh, in my own business um, in the garage and limousines, stretch limousine business. Um, and then um, uh, from that to now, uh, I'm putting that history together to finish it off straight to Edinburgh Magistrate Court and um, in Scotland uh, with these native titles that are um, uh, connected to Westminster Magistrate Court and Cambridge um, in England to Cambridge in Kaipara, uh, I mean in uh, Karapiro um, area of this Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau uh, mountain. Uh, um, 
totally have not learned and that's more prominent in this country of that British title. So I'm just going to give you a little rundown of where I'm at. Uh, there's quite a bit, I've got documents all over the place. Behind this couch I've got all the history of the Manukau's, the Freemasons, uh, all Ngāpui's history, Ngāti Pro's history, Tainui and Waikato's histories, Kafiru the Giant, especially Kafiru the Giant in the Kaipara and down in Auckland area where the history has been totally decimated by the Ngāti Whātua tribe uh, that's been invented by the New South Wales government. They've got a problem now with this British title here of Moira Hoffman's and the Russells um, in that time. So that's going to put a nail right through the middle of um, the um, Whakapapa of uh, Kia ora hau, uh, Kia ora hau, uh, Ngāti Kahu, uh, Ngāti Kuri and Ngāti uh, Te, te Rorua, uh, Te Uria hau, uh, Te Tau in the Kaipras and um, all of those tribes um, that are connected to the northern region of <coughs> the North uh, Provincial Auckland title that stretched right up to Te Rere Wairu or Cape Ranga down to Taupo, past Taupo, across, straight across uh, from east to west uh, and landing up in Rangituki on the east coast uh, there with this British title. In 1823, one William B. Baker uh, that uh, was the magistrate office residence in Rangitukia School House. Okay, so that's connected to this in Hokianga, 1823, and um, the Russells, and also the um, uh, Samuel Marsden signing with the Maori, that's called a Maori, but there was no Maori then, so that's um, challenging that word Maori and their tribe, where the hell did they get that from? It was from Kaya in the, the year of 1823 still, where those chiefs separated themselves from uh, the rest of Ngāpui and signed separately with the New South Wales government, um, uh, just them, uh, and uh, Samuel Marsden made their um, title uh, to um, the Bay of Islands, at least the land they bought. They bought land with somebody's title. And what I'm saying is that land was already sold from Britain by Te Rawaikato Wharehere in 1823. That's when all these documents started kicking off left, right and centre from Kaia and from Hokianga. I've got Morris Baker's titles here, tied up in, in here, in these documents that I'm split out now. I've split the book in bits, as you can see. I've got it all in bits. There. This book here, this um, other book here, this one here, I've left, I've got three of them, and I've got to send the whole book in bits, split up and rebound in smaller lots. That I've separated the documents singly of the main ones, like this front one, with the receipt of Manukau on it. Okay, on left, left, Manukau, separated by itself. And the other signed as well, signed and sealed, stamped, and sealed by a JP, but with apostoly, it has to be a notary public. So I've got to get these notarized when the offices open in the city with um, uh, Fortune Manning, uh, Tony uh, Fortune. I'll get him to seal it, and then I'll put it in the courier bag and send it straight down to the internal office of uh, office of the internal affairs in Wellington, straight to Britain uh, with these documents because I'm showing you online so that no one's going to hide anything away from what I do in front of the public with these authentication on the coat of arms of King William IV, um, surrogate for, I'm speaking for him, his photo here of King William IV, this flag with the eight point stars on it, which is the municipalities of <coughs> the rent collector, okay, so the collector of rent, collector of fines, collector of, of land leases, and 
these documents are sealed to this flag, which is sealed to this eight point star to his Admiralty. He's on his horse with his ship of Admiralty at the back on the sea, the high seas, and the horse is on dry land which is this flag was given on dry land, the only flag to be given on dry land right off the sea with no bar or dock to put someone in. We can convict you online with this flag straight from Waitangi Marae Native Magistrate Court into eight other Native Magistrate Courts I opened up in front of you on YouTube. Okay, you get that? That's YouTube is citing as fact cited evidence to all the documents on sealing, including 1468 YouTube videos. Okay, I'm citing the whole lot as evidence to block every hole of martial law, Vice Admiral Martial Law, second hand, American US Federal State Government, Australian Federal State Government, and any other Federal State Government, Canadian Federal State Government, New Zealand hasn't got any, it's tried to. But I'm authenticating these documents and these pound notes right, to go right over the top of anything less than a trillion pounds. Okay, these are getting authenticated as soon as I get them apostolized. And there's 970 million trillion trillion pound note with Jamie and me, Patrick, Patrick, eight point star. But I'm putting. King Ernest Augustus here. I'm just printing out another pound note with King Ernest Augustus. But this is the original of where we started with these pound notes. This is in the bank, in the ANZ bank. These pound notes are deposited in the ANZ bank in Auckland. And you saw me in the bank on YouTube talking to <coughs> uh, Julie Sewell, the manager. She, they, they, they don't stay there long. They go as soon as they see trouble coming. They're gone. Okay, so the, all these pound notes of different values are King William IV and this flag, and King William III, the creator of the Bank of England, the eight point star of St. Patrick, municipalities, law, uh, and also the Bank of England X and the pound note X. Pound note X are our business to foreclose these cited documents and this British title will foreclose on any outstanding debt against all those names I've put on line and all those that uh, uh, people are complaining about in the world that those have been named in um, uh, Panama Papers and uh, Paradise Papers and also in uh, corrupting the British uh, law and also corrupting the American law and the Constitution and here in New Zealand, all over the world, in fact, is subject to this native title and this marae here in Hokianga and Rangitukia on our own marae. Eight marae's are open and this ship of Admiralty with its British flag on top and this is a British flag of a king, the only king's flag in the world is live. We're going to liven it up some more so that we can force these laws here in this book and the laws here of King William IV that I've got all these bits here, all these acts of King William IV here and they're all here to authenticate as one book. I'm going to authenticate them as one small book, a series of small books cut up out of this so that it saves the cost. There's only one apostolate for the whole the little book with all the acts of King William IV. There's 19 pages, A4 pages, one apostolate as paying for one uh, one whole set, book set, rather than like this. Because I'll pull out the main ones, like this front one, as a separate authentication and the pound note authenticated as separate. As separate, so we can use those notes with this flag's origination of its kings. King William III, creator of this flag, and this 
red cross and the eight point stars in the four corners of the earth with the blue admiralty sea colour, the sky colour, blue, and the black strip around the red cross as the military navy to protect our financial investment interests to recover all this debt of 970 million trillion trillion pound note on everyone's head, third party, to a two party contract between us, the Paramount Chiefs, that have signed these documents, the latest ones, not the early ones, the later ones, that are taking Lobo or Morris Baker's commercial title lands, 10 blocks of land, we'll be taking Watton, and the commercial land of Manukau, Refer, 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 Manukau, of Cook Street, that one land block, we're taking that and my own land blocks and down the east coast and we're taking those ones as well, the deeds of those 31 land blocks I'm on. I'm taking them as one land block in these citations and these authenticated documents apostolized through the Church of Canterbury. So I'll just grab the camera now. I'm feeling a little bit better today. Yesterday, um, I'm, I'm just saying one thing to people who are watching me. Um, deteriorate when somebody moans on my site and I get distracted from doing this, these documents here. Please don't do it because I'm busy. Don't chat to me because I'll delete you. I've already deleted some that have upset me in the last two days. So be, be wary that I'm on a warpath here with these documents. So now you can see it all in bits, that book. See, so I'm splitting out all the pound notes that way out of the book, in the bound, there's the bounding machine there, I bought that. So I can pull it apart and make smaller ones out of the big book. So I've un unzipped this book here. Right? I'll leave the one so I know where I am. And then split it up like this so that I can take out all the different documents like this one here. And I'll apostolize this document here, the Declaration of War. Okay, that was put together um, as <coughs> uh, in 2002. So I'm using all these documents here against the New South Wales government and all these acts here of King William IV. I'm using these acts, the Bank of England Act here, as you can see. Okay, the, Bank, the Buckingham Palace Act here. The Bank Notes Act here for these pound notes is right here. Bank Notes Act 1833 C83 for these pound notes. That gives us the right to use them on anybody. Okay, so there they are. Okay, I'm just showing you. So this is where I get my authority. The Bank of England Act to bankrupt the Rothschilds Bank, right there. Bank note, Bank of England Act 1833 C98. I'll use that act to bankrupt the Bank of England with this pound note here, or rather the one with King Ernest Augustus. We've got Jamie and myself here, um, but she's a Patrick that goes with this eight point star on that right there and this eight point star right here. Okay, so that's her surname as a live person to a Patrick there. But I'm going with the Patricks in Northern Ireland in Belfast. My family is Patricks and the Cosgroves and the uh, Rogans in Northern Ireland, Protestant. So that, that's their authority on this flag and nobody else's. Uh, St. Patrick is buried in Down Patrick's in Northern Ireland. So I'm going there to uh, authenticate these documents and fly the flag there, right there and in Westminster on the new Brexit uh, Parliament government of Westminster in Westminster City. We're going into Paddington with all these documents after they're authenticated. Okay, so here we have all the documents of Rogan here. I've split them out and uh, with it sealed. So I've left these to go as one piece. And here's all the laws split out. I've split out the, the main ones that I use in the case um, uh, rather than the whole lot. I'll put them all together. I'll put them all together in the same book those laws and the other full set of these ones. So these are the ones I'm using to act on, separated from the main acts here, and these other ones that are online. So these ones I've got here, 
are the ones I'm using on anybody in the road because I've pulled out the worst ones and stuck them in here. Okay? So there we go. City of London. Constable's Act, 1834. So, so I'll use that on on anybody who's breaking the laws of King William IV. Okay, so we've got all this to do. As soon as I get them all separated out, they're all in a mess at the moment, but I'll know which documents are which. I put them in the machine, put the plastic, I've got to go to the warehouse and get some more plastic binders, you know, and covers, and make new covers, and rebind them in smaller lots of that. Okay, so, so here I'm writing down which ones I'm separating out. Plus, I'll put in extra bits, extra ones, that um, I'll take out of other books. Just the main ones uh, that have more authority from, um, from uh, other meetings I've had. So, we've got a big mess over here. We're, we're taking bits and pieces out of this and that book and that book. And around the back here we've got all the documents here, and I've got to pull out as well. But I've got enough to go on to let this guy can always authenticate more later. And you see over there, there's more books in there. That's the, um, um, all the government books that I've put together. So you've got a whole heap of them in there that I'll be authenticating each of those books that I've bound myself. Uh, in all these titles in as much as 20 years work. So that's uh, basically all I wanted to show you. I've got a new printer on the go here. She's going to start printing soon. This computer here, over here underneath this lot. Here, and another one over there. That computer here, this computer here. That computer is having a sleep at the moment. But um, I've got that one on the go. And uh, it seems to conflict uh, with uh, with that one using the same router uh, so now and then I've got to hook that computer so we've got uh, Tor browser on this one and on that one we've got Google and this one we've got Explorer so we have three separate if I get scammed out I can always get it back on one of the other ones and then we've got the laptop on top of that over there Okay, so we've got a laptop and we've got this fast phone here. I'm just getting another one of these for my friend, um, Morris Baker. I'm getting another one of these for him. They're really good, these, these phones. And lots of things in it. Something in my pocket stuck. Oh, oh that's stuck. Oh. Money stuck to the camera. That's funny. What's in there? I've got to see what's in my pocket. It's stuck to the camera. Um, so anyway, and then we got that tablet over there as well. Uh, to go on. So um, uh, just summing up uh, on this day, uh, Tuesday, second day of uh, January 2018. Uh, I'm just pretty well got myself organised and. To get going. Ooh. Oh, it's, a, it's a something. This little round disc. What the hell is that? I don't know what I got that for. Anyway, that's a magnet. Um, so um, I'm getting ready to have these apostolized. What else they have? I've got to go to the um, um, notary public, and there's only specialised notary public to do these government. Um, authentications. Um, it's it's apostoly, um, e apostoly, which is online. So all my documents be e apostolized in not paper form, so they can send them um, off and print them off. I'll put them online uh, onto Facebook so that it's exposed. You'll be the first to know, and it's discovered. That means everything I put online is true, um, and so there's no one going to say it's not true unless you come to the meeting. Any of people who have any issues in what I say about this book and claim as an authority, you'll have to bring your titles to Te Unua Kamarai in Epsom uh, on the corner of 1 Clive Street and Manukau Road.
uh, from um, uh, Great South Road end of Broadway and head out towards the airport from there. Uh, and it's the first or the second set of lights. It's right on the corner, it's Te Umawaka Murawai. Uh, at 10 o'clock, um, we have the hearing. Um, and um, that's on the 19th, Friday the 19th of January 2018. And I want to get that sealed up, and um, we should have these documents back bound up. I'm, I'm sending them loose uh, as single, single documents. So this will get apostolized by itself, and this will get apostolized by itself, a trillion pound. Okay, and as a birth certificate on this will get apostolized. Right, this will get apostolized as Exhibit A. That on its own. That will be apostolized as being worth that much with my face on. Okay? Because they'll put a value on my birth certificate and call me 01, not 007. I'm um, 01, must be on the top um, of the chain. And so this to them. Um, making a statement is 100 million. I only get 26,000 for my gold card from this lot of thugs, and they're keeping all the rest. I'm, I'm making them accountable with the British Navy military to recover all that debt, and then I'm putting a trillion pound note on my birth certificate. Yeah. And everyone else's birth certificate in the world, that's just the birth certificate alone, okay? So there's 7 billion people in the world, that's 7 billion times a trillion pound note, and it still won't come anywhere near 970 million trillion trillion. So this title here, the native title, went right around the world from here in New Zealand with this Marae, this British ship, this tree, Kauri tree, Kauri tree, and this London, and this Hokianga, and this name Russell, and my name, Hawani Kahaki Wanua, and one Lobo Morris Baker, equals this native title right through the world. I'm making that statement that that value is a land value that's coming up against that as debt instrument over everything that all the elite on this side and all their voters and all their supporters versus this side and the king of this flag. Okay? So I'm making this flag legal. I'm making me legal as a surrogate king, if we can see me. That's who I am claiming to be the subject King William IV to speak for his fortunes and his inheritance that he created with his ex right here. Okay? The Bank of England Act, 1833 C98, he created these pound notes. Okay? And so he created the Bank Note Act, and he created the Bank of England Act, 1833 C98, and the Bank Note Act, 1833 C83. Okay, look. okay, I'm just citing it in front of you. King William IV, take note. I am citing these documents for authentication, apostoly, these separated documents and this separated pound note right over everyone's head in the world, regardless of what race they are, in some way or another. The Rothschilds banknotes went around the world trading under some sort of authority. I'm saying they usurp this flag of a king's authority jurisdiction of admiralty, court martial law, 
to steal land of the common people, the king's common people of the world and turn the common people into pirates. This is now turning the pirates away from the common people and build them. It's turning the thug, Bank of England and all these into pirates. Okay, so we've got Assess Tax Act 1833C39, <clears throat> um, Appropriation Act 1833C96, Misappropriation Account, Administration of the States Act 1833C104, and Buckingham Palace Act 1833, right there. Okay, Buckingham Palace, that's where we're going without authority to take over the Queen's business and put this citation on her head. A declaration of war flag, which is this flag, a statement was made in 2002 to create a declaration of war. I'm creating a declaration of war with this debt instrument over all the elite families of the world, Rothschild Banks, Vatican City, City of London, Bank of England, Washington DC, US Federal State Government, Vatican City, United Nations, World Bank, IMF, EU Parliament, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Victoria Trust, NZ Intuition New Zealand Limited, New Zealand Police Fund, Intuition New Zealand Limited, Waitangi National Trust, New Zealand Crown, the list goes on. John Key, <coughs> Jacinda Ardern, keeps rolling over the legacy of fraud. You're stuck in this pound note now, citing it on this video as judgment debtor. I am the judgment creditor with my chiefs against you on these native lands. Can you see what I'm talking about? Native Marae. Marae. And Whakapapa. The British have fused themselves into our Tahitian Whakapapa title to the native Marae. For all the native countries in the world, take note. This pound note is dittering the whole lot of them. And this one on top is Exhibit Bay. Uh, exhibit A, birth certificates, deaths and marriage certificates. We're cashing in on them underneath that lot. The land, sales, uh, resources, natural resources of all the countries in the world, 250 countries in the world, gets this bill against the people who follow the King's bench court martial law and this jurisdiction of legal authority, self-government and sovereign authority. Now I'm just saying that I just wanted to show you my gold card but I can't find it. But anyway that's a gold card here that is only worth 26,000 Where's the rest? Where's the rest of my birth certificate? And how did they pay themselves from my birth certificate? Trust. This is a trust, people. This is trust. Everything I do in this book is the Moai Crown King William for trust in this and a number of companies. Mainly it's the Na Atua Ewa Altea Limited Company that I'm registering these apostolates under uh, to the um, British government has been one country at a time to
forced this issue because they are our partners. The British government and the Navy is our legal partner to force this law and these notes and these native titles on anybody who has broken the King's laws. So that's all I want to say really. Is I've got my machine to get going and I've got to sort out which documents I'm going to authenticate out of what I've got here to start with to make um, our mark on this country before I go into any other country next. Okay? So I'll be going to Philippines next and then off to Ireland and Scotland. Uh, Scotland or Ireland first. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye. Have a nice day.